Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a 10 minute at home back workout using no equipment. I have been reading all the comments in the comment section and this is a highly requested video, so that's exactly what we'll be doing. It's low impact, again, it requires no equipment and this one killed me. My whole entire back was sore. I just wanna take a moment to thank Iconic for sending me this amazing artwork. Nobody cares, work harder. So happy to be having all this artwork throughout my house. If you wanna get motivated and put some of this motivating art inside of your house, make sure you use my discount code SKY and again, thank you so much Iconic. You really have like set up my whole entire workout space in my home and I love it. 10 minutes of work, you got this, let's get started. All right, let's get this 10 minute back workout started. It's definitely intense. There will be no breaks. And the first exercise that we'll be going into is going to be wide push-ups. This is really going to warm up all of our muscles and get us started for this back workout. If you find that the wide push-ups become too difficult for the full minute of work, go ahead and go down to your knees and we can do knee push-ups as a modification. If you are doing knee push-ups, really focus on your range of motion and make sure you're getting the complete depth on the way down and going all the way to the top and keep that core tight. Almost there. The next movement that we're gonna go right into is going to be plank tees. Try to keep your core as tight as you can throughout this whole entire exercise. And we'll do each side for 30 seconds on. Make sure you're straightening your arm all the way at the top and really reaching so you're engaging all of those back muscles. And now we're gonna switch to the other side for 30 seconds, let's go. All right, the next exercise that we're gonna go into is going to be superwoman or superman. And we're gonna do this for 60 seconds on. This really targets that lower back. Often we forget to train this muscle. Go all the way down to the ground and really squeeze and contract your lower back, your glutes, and bring those legs up as high as you can at the top of each rep. And try to keep your neck in a neutral position the whole time. All right, the next exercise that we're gonna go into is going to be laying down pull-ups. I really like this workout. It's actually crazy how much you can feel this after 60 seconds on. Make sure you're really reaching as far as you can forward and squeezing with a little bit of a pause at the bottom of each rep. Let's go. through 
sure you got it. Alright, right after that, the next movement that we're going to go into is going to be laying scapula retractions. Again, really reach forward as far as you can and get the biggest, fullest range of motion possible on the scapula retraction. 60 seconds on, let's go. All right, the next movement that we'll go into for 60 seconds on will be superwoman alternating pulses. Again, this is really going to target that lower back area. Make sure you try to go up as high as you can and bring it on down slow and controlled with every rep. All right, the next movement that we'll go into is called Snow Angels, and we'll be doing this for 60 seconds on. And try to get that full 360 range of motion, really squeezing and engaging all of those back muscles with every single rep. Slow and controlled. And make sure you're making that mind-muscle connection. Let's go. You got it. Next up is going to be dolphin planks. Sometimes you have to readjust your feet and get comfortable in this position. And then you wanna drive your hips backwards and put your head through your arms and you'll really feel this in your shoulders and all of your back muscles. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds on, let's go. Also, make sure that you're going all the way down into a plank position, but you're not concaving your back or throwing your hips down too low. Readjust your feet if you need to, and push and drive those glutes back, and again, put that head in between those arms. You got it, almost there. All right, the next exercise that we'll be doing for 60 seconds on is going to be kneeling lat pullovers. Again, you might have to adjust to get comfortable in this position. You really want to go all the way forward. Again, don't concave your glutes and make sure to keep that core tight at the top of each rep. 
And then on your way back, sink all the way back into your glutes, getting a huge stretch in all of your back. Let's go. Since all of these workouts do not have weight added, it's very important to be slow and controlled with every rep and make sure that you're really squeezing and engaging all of those back muscles to make this workout the most effective it can be. Okay, the next movement that we'll be doing is laying back presses. This movement does feel a little odd at first, but it is shocking how effective it is and how sore it gets you. Put your elbows to your side and you wanna go up as far as you can, really squeezing and engaging all of those back muscles. This completely isolates your back and really engages all of those muscles. Let's go. You might get a little shaky. Like I said, this exercise is actually very difficult even though it has no weight, but push through and take a break if you need to, but otherwise push through, we're almost there. Let's go. And that completes today's 10 minute back workout. If you wanna take this workout to the next level, you can complete it one to two more times. All right, let's get to the outfit review. All right, you know I always like to go over the outfits that I'm wearing so you can know which brands I wear and what my sizes are. These pants are from Aloe Yoga and I believe that they're called the Goddess Legging. I have these pants in a few different colors and I've actually had them for several years now, maybe three or four, which goes to show you the aloe's quality of the material is A1. I also wear these pants in a size small. I think they're super cute, I love them, and I love the way they fit. They are squat proof, and even though they're not completely high-waisted or as high as some of my other pants that I like, they don't lower or they don't come down when I'm doing squats or lower body exercises. And then this top is just like a five dollar top that i got from forever 21. it's a size small it's super cute sometimes i just find different little tops that are super cheap but i like a cute crop top that's my outfit review if you enjoyed these comment below and let me know i appreciate the feedback Thank you all so much for the love and support. If you enjoyed this video and found it beneficial, make sure you hit that like button and comment below what you'd like to see in the next video. I've been reading all of those comments and also subscribe and hit that bell so you miss nothing from me. Make sure you check out all the links in my description for all of my support codes and discount codes. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you next week with the next video. Peace and good vibes your way always. Yo, yo, yo. Coming in, Coming in, yeah. yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, just yeah. Win. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Toasted, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags. Coming, uh -huh. Coming in, yeah. yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, just yeah. Win. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Pump up the action.